Once the leading air force in the Middle East Iran has long faced considerable threats of enemy incursions into its airspace from the Soviet Union in the 1970s to the Iraqi Air Force the following decade and the United States and Israel ever since the end of the Cold War. Despite multiple setbacks, including a decades-long U.S. arms embargo, Western pressure on post-Soviet Russia to deny Iran modern combat aircraft, and an often modest budget for modernization of the Air Force, Iran has extensively enhanced its aerial warfare capabilities in recent years. To this end it has refurbished American and Soviet aircraft acquired during the Cold War and domestically developed a range of new air-launched weapons, drones and ground-based air defense systems. The country has also more recently benefited from close cooperation with Russia, which has provided Iran with ground-based radar and air defense systems and is speculated to emerge as a supplier of new high-end combat aircraft in future. A look at Iran's most formidable aerial warfare systems is given below. Following Iran's commandeering of an advanced American RQ-170 stealth drone in 2011, which had been operating on a surveillance mission over the country's airspace and was brought down using electronic warfare, the fully functioning aircraft was studied extensively and used to develop indigenous classes of combat and reconnaissance drone. There was considerable speculation that Iran shared the design with its defense partners, most notably China, and that it received considerable support in developing its indigenous stealth drones from the East Asian state. Although the possibility of an Iranian stealth drone fleet being deployed was widely dismissed in the West, the aircraft were deployed for operations beyond the country's borders including for missions into the heavily defended airspace of Iran's long-standing adversary Israel. Former head of Mossad Danny Yadam stated regarding one such incident in early 2018, it was a sophisticated operation. The UAV was almost an exact replica of the US drone that fell in their territory. If it had exploded somewhere in Israel, it may not have been possible to identify it as an Iranian-manufactured drone. The stealth drone evaded multiple attempts by Israel's US-made Patriot air defense batteries to neutralize it from the ground, and the Israeli Defense Force was forced to rely on an attack helicopter to bring down the UAV from the air. Aside from ballistic missiles, stealth drones may well be Iran's most capable asset. Multiple new designs such as the Shad 191 have been unveiled since 2018, and Iran is the only country other than China and the United States to have developed such aircraft. Completing deliveries in 2017, the S-300 is Iran's most capable long-range surface-to-air missile system and represents a customized variant closely based on the S-3000 PMU-2 design. All elements of the system are highly mobile making it very difficult to seek and destroy for enemy aircraft, and each is capable of guiding up to 64 surface-to-air missiles against up to 32 targets simultaneously. The system first entered service in the Russian military in 1997, but despite its age it is still Iran's most capable air defense system and one of the most advanced in the Middle East. The S-300 has an engagement range of up to 250 km and very high Mach 14 engagement speed, if equipped with 48N6DM 48N6E3 missiles, allowing it to intercept many kinds of hypersonic targets and to threaten enemy support aircraft at very long distances. It is uncertain whether Iranian S-300s are equipped with these missiles or whether they may have been later delivered by Russia as part of a follow-up order. Without these missiles, the S-300 PMU-2 deploys the 48N6E2 as its longest-ranged missile with a still respectable 200 km range, but slower Mach 8 speed. S-300s were originally equipped with the older missiles in the 1990s before the more capable 48N6DM 48N6E3 was developed.
deployed by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. The Iran Aviation Industries Organization Fatros drone was first unveiled in late 2013 and was designed with a long 2,000 km range to facilitate power projection operations beyond the country's border. This has potentially significant applications for support of Iranian and Iranian-aligned ground units, which operate across much of the region. The FATROs can carry out both reconnaissance and combat operations, and can be armed with a range of precision-guided air-to-surface and anti-tank missiles. The drones reportedly have a very high endurance of up to 30 hours, even when carrying a full load of armaments. Iran has considerable experience operating drones in combat, most notably in the Syrian and Iraqi theaters, against a range of Islamist militant groups, and this experience is likely to have heavily influenced the FATRO's design. Where lighter drones were forward deployed to airfields outside Iran, the FATRO's high endurance allows it to provide a very different kind of support and to loiter near battlefields for a day or more at a time before having to return to base. Iran commissioned the indigenously developed Baver 373 long-range air defense system into service in August 2016, with development of such a weapon system thought to have been initiated due to Russia's unwillingness to provide the country with S-300 systems under the Dmitry Medvedev administration at the beginning of the decade. Iranian Defense Minister Ahmed Vahidi referred to the platform as a long-range air defense missile system, similar to S-300, to provide the country with some degree of self-sufficiency, following Russia's cancellation of the S-300 delivery. The missile system was designed to be compatible with and work alongside other Soviet-built systems such as the S-200, which Iran acquired in the 1990s in considerable numbers. The Baber 373 was followed in its entry into service by the another indigenous Iranian long-range air defense system, the Corded 15, which was unveiled in June 2019, seven years after the Baber system was unveiled. Although it lacks the cold launch system of more advanced air defense systems, such as the North Korean Pyongyi 5 or Russian S-300, the Corded 15 has a formidable range estimated at 200 kilometers, and it's reportedly by Iranian sources to be capable of engaging stealth targets. With Iranian air defenses already having proven capable in combat with a shorter-range third of corded system, downing a high-end American Global Hawk drone in mid-2019, the corded 15 represents a potentially major impediment to enemy operations in Iranian airspace.